a Louisiana elementary teacher facing backlash, and rightfully so, after admitting that they enjoy confusing kids about their own identity. That's right. We're going to get into what uh, Blaine Bangart had to say and what's been going on with this whole mess of a situation in less than 10 seconds. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, you please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, or the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, if you guys could help donate here to my ministry to help support what I do for just five bucks a month, please visit patreon.com slash conservative truth. Link in the description below. So, this is the Caddo Parish School District. It's uh, located in Shreveport, Louisiana, and you have a <laughs> an elementary music teacher here by the name of Blaine Bangert, who's actually been causing some problems for quite some time. However, it was the most recent social media post put out by Bangert that really caught the attention here of many parents. In fact, it was in the form of a Facebook post that was put out back in early November. And since then, this thing has been shared around and it's getting a lot of attention. Now, to the school's credit, I'll give them credit for this. They actually ban teachers from discussing or talking about their so-called gender identity. That would mean that, uh, I'm sorry, let, let, me, let me address it by the proper way that uh, the teacher asked. MX, that's right, not Mr., not Ms., MX Bangert <laughs> is not allowed to tell it, its students that uh, it's either trans or non-binary. Uh, not allowed to do that. It's good for the school. However, because of that, the teacher says, you know what, I'm going to have some fun with this instead. And why they put this all out on social media, I, I, for, I, I, they are that stupid. Well, let's, just, let's just be honest. They are that stupid. They can't help themselves. And they must think that they have, you know, everything going in their favor. Oh, but things are not always as they seem. So what exactly did the teacher say specifically about the kid's reaction to the new transformed look that has taken the MX <laughs> uh, here in front of the kids by storm? We'll talk about it here in a second, guys. First, though, let me put a quick plug in here for my Patreon. You know, I got to do this being that I get no monetization on the YT platform. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support my ministry. And again, you could do it for just five bucks a month by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth. If you guys enjoy these videos, I do. You want me to keep doing them. I really need your help um, and support to keep me going here. Like I said, because YT is not going to do it. And here's the thing. When you sign up on Patreon, you're going to be alerted for all the content that I put out. Now that's important because here's the thing. If you only watch my videos through YT alerts, forget it. It's garbage. It's trash. They don't send out all notifications. And you can't trust it, so you're going to miss a lot of my content. So go to Patreon, sign up there, get the alerts. But here's the other thing I love about it. You can also leave your comments on these videos, but you can do it over there completely censorship-free. You don't have to worry about YT blocking or removing what you guys are saying. It's happening all the time. People will tell me, it shows you got seven or eight comments, but I can only see one or two of them. Man, that's all YT. They're hiding your stuff. They're, you know, it doesn't. You could write the, most, the smallest little thing that they find offensive, and it's, it's gone. So... Don't waste your time with that. Just come on over to Patreon, sign up there. You can leave your comments there. Have a nice free-flowing discussion with no interruptions, no trolls. You could even send me direct messages. Again, guys, patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for as little as five bucks a month. It blesses the ministry here. A big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So the teacher admitted here, that they enjoy confusing the kids about their own gender identity. The kids have asked questions as far as, does this mean that you're not a girl anymore? Why is it that you're trying to look like a guy? And then even more so, the teacher 
went on here in the post to say, wait until they see me with a mustache and skirt. That'll really get them talking. I, what sort of a teacher expresses pride, expresses enjoyment in confusing children? These are sick people. And then the teacher had the nerve to say that some of the things that the kids said were pretty hurtful. But they're just kids, and I get it at the end of the day. I understand. I won't hold it against them. Oh, well, thank God for that, that you won't hold it against them. You know, if you don't repent, God will hold it against you. Because what you're doing is that you are harming the little ones that the Bible clearly says not to do. Remember, that takes on many different shapes and forms. And by what you're doing here with these words and portraying yourself around the way that you are, you are, in fact, harming children, even though you may not think that you are. So this is, like I said, received a lot of attention from parents who have expressed their frustration here to the school. And no word as of yet as to whether any disciplinary action will occur here for the teacher uh, as far as you know appropriate dress and all of that right now i guess they just are not allowed to talk about these subjects in class so the teacher's trying to go around that by you know confusing these kids even more and you know not using those certain words but getting them to call her mx and all this other nonsense uh, just to bring more problems here. And this was all actually brought up in a school board meeting that took place all the way back in March. So like I said, this has been going on for quite some time now. And I, I, supposedly somebody was there at the school board meeting. It took up for the teacher. Uh, and it, it accused everybody of, you know, all the, the words that, um, you know, they like to call us common sense conservative people um, that I won't even mention. But... Um, the Cattle Parish School District did not uh, release a statement here yet on this backlash. So we'll see what becomes of this. I, I will say this to kind of wrap it up. I'm going to put a link in the description because you can watch this video clip of the teacher. You could see this creature for yourself. And at one point, they had expressed gratitude towards a parent who had commented on the pictures of the teacher on their social media and says that, let me know what... Uh, adjective you would like me to use to describe you instead of the whole pronoun thing they said adjective what words do you like and i will use this to go ahead and call you and the teacher said that was the kind of allyship that i really need <laughs> this continues ladies and gentlemen and it will continue until jesus comes back it is i i'm telling you this just to be honest with you it's not going to get better it's going to get worse and the easy thing that everybody always says is just pull your kids out of public school. And I agree that if you have the ability to do so, homeschool your kids. Absolutely. But I know not every parent does. That's easier said than done for a lot of parents that have to work multiple jobs. And they can't afford to stop working in order to homeschool their kids. So many of them fight for positions on school boards and getting into the positions there where they can make a, you know, a true difference and change. And my hat's off to them for doing that. That's needed. But again, we are in the last days. Christ is coming back soon. Something that I want to do right now, and I do this on all my videos, is that I give people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior because he's coming soon. Make no mistake about it. There is a reckoning coming for those who choose not to repent, who choose to stay in their sinful ways that will not go before the Lord and ask them, and ask him, rather, to forgive them. So if you're watching right now and you have not yet accepted Christ, I want to lead you in a prayer to do it right now. It's a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news, though, is this, is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then you just jump back in your old ways again. No, it means to actually 
turn from your sin, those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God, as I just alluded to here a little while ago. But if you humbly go before the Lord and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.